hey, we're going here into the, over here in Seminole Heights in Tampa to the La Segunda. It's a Cuban bakery, established in 1915. Let's go ahead and see what they got. This is the inside where they make all their Cuban bread. I wish I could get the smell through this video. It smells so good in here. Look at the size of this bakery. It's Cuban bread for days. Look how fast they do this. Also have freshly made donuts and other pastries. We mean from Tampa because it's Cuba bread, making Cuba bread. This is palmetto leaves. Just to open the bread in the middle. This is Cuban bread, 36 inches long. Made fresh daily. How much of this do you make every day? Uh, we make like six, seven thousand loaves daily. Wow, six or seven thousand loaves. Yes. Woo! Do you make other stuff besides the Cuban bread? Okay, we make uh, like seven, six different uh, cookies. So you make the donuts, all the pastries? Yes. Yes. They have uh, five bakeries. Oh, five bakeries? Yes. And this is under new uh, management, La Segunda, right? Is that how you pronounce it? La Segunda has like a hundred something here, but a hundred and fifty, I think. And this is their bread, fresh out of the oven. It smells so good. So again, make sure you stop by if you're in the Tampa Bay area. This is on North Florida Avenue. They're open daily from seven to three. And as you can see, all the people that come through here and all the bread that they make, they can run out. We've been here before where they ran out of bread. It was so busy in here. So make sure you stop by this place. You will not be disappointed. I hope that y'all enjoyed watching how the original authentic Cuban bread is made at La Segunda. From the moment that we got out of the car, you can smell that bread. And as you walk through the door, it only got more intense. It was wall-to-wall -wall bread in there, as well as pastries. If you are ever in the Tampa Bay area, I do recommend that you visit La Segunda. They are on North Florida Avenue, and you won't be disappointed. I'm going to show you how to make the original Tampa Cuban bread sandwich. We're going to start by cutting our bread into sandwich size pieces. That's what we like. Now, if I was doing this for a party, I would cut the whole thing and make the whole sandwich and it would be gorgeous on your party table. This loaf is 36 inches long. You can tell that it is authentic. If it has a palm leaf on the top of the loaf, we're going to cut our bread in about six to eight inch pieces, which will be perfect to put on our press. Look at how soft this bread is. And it was warm when we picked it up. And you better believe we did eat some of it in the car on the way home. We could not help ourselves. We'll use some of this tonight. The rest of it we'll put in the freezer and it pulls out of the freezer just as good as if it came right from the bakery. I'll put those instructions right down in the description. A true, authentic Tampa Cuban sandwich has three ports. That is ham, pork, salami. It has Swiss cheese, pickles, and mustard. That's it, guys and it is the best ever. We'll start by putting this together um, with lathering it, and I mean lathering it in mustard. 
every bite should have mustard. The next ingredient will be ham. There is a certain way you build these sandwiches too, guys. This is the authentic way. Next, we will go in with pulled pork. Lastly, we will do salami. That's our three porks. Now our Swiss cheese. The authentic Tampa Cuban sandwich has pickles. Get the tops put on these. Now we need to press them. The authentic Tampa Cuban sandwich is pressed. We will be using a panini press. You can use a frying pan and put an a iron skillet on top of it and mash them down to get that lovely crunch on the top of your Cuban. This butter is just going to add to the flavor. These are toasted perfectly. Listen to that. Now we're going to give it the authentic Tampa Cuban sandwich cut. Look at that meat in there stack. Delicious. We have this plated and I can hardly wait to sink my teeth into this one. Our black beans. Check the channel. The recipe's there. As with everything in this kitchen, the cook has to taste it before it leaves the kitchen. And I'm just going to do that. Oh my, it smells so good. Can you hear that crunch? Mmm. That is one delicious bite. I hope that you have enjoyed seeing how the authentic Cuban bread is made as well as the authentic Cuban bread sandwich. If you like this recipe, if you like this video, you give us a thumbs up. It doesn't cost a thing. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe and hit notifications so that you get all of our recipes as they post. And until next time, take care and God bless.